So it's been genial, genial. It could be a one reason for them to perform their dances. Another one is for bountiful harvest. Pagkatapos ng pagtatanim ng palay, then the, that's the time that they perform their. That's the time that they perform their dances also, as a way of thanksgiving or as a way of enticing, uh, enticing the spirits to bless what they have planted. So yun po. Another one is to mark milestone in the life cycles of birth, of uh, of wedding, or for uh, my patay. So that can be one reason for celebration. So sa ifu daw, pag pinangalak ang isang bata, ang anak ng mga yayangan, usually mayroon silang dancing. Nagsasayaw sila. Pero dito sa Benguet po, ang pagsasayaw uh, ay kung nag-perform ka ng pushit or festivity ritual, kung uh, during the agamit or the culmination of the morning ritual na matayan ka, para matapos na yung pagluluksa, then you have to perform the agamit in order that uh, you can already go out and intermingle with the social world. So yun po. Or uh, they perform uh, these uh, dances uh, for for uh, uh, for the death of, uh, of the person. So sa, sa bakun po, pag, uh, pag may namatay na isang mayaman, meron silang ginagawang music at tatalak sila. So doon sa, doon sa tatalak, it is the use of wooden instruments. So meron silang tinatawag na talak din nato eh, and talak di uh, matmatago. Yung talak din nato eh, that's the time when they bury or during the funeral when they bring the body to the burial site. Ang tunog po ng tanglak ng natay, it is a it is a discordant sounds. Magulo po, basta tunog lang na palo ng palo doon. Pero pagkatapos ng burial, they perform the tanglak di matmatago to entice the spirit of the living to go home with them to their respective houses so that their spirits will not follow the spirit of the dead man to the spirit world. So, yun po ang uh, panila doon. And then, uh, self-edification of performers. Well, pag nagsasayaw po sila, ito po doon ko po nagpapakita ng iyong gilas sa pagsasayaw. And uh, sabi nila, doon sa pagsasayaw-sayaw daw, doon po makikita ang agility ng isang isang lalaki. Ulit kaya uh, yung babae sa pagsasayaw at kunwari doon nag-uumpisa yung ligawan and uh, to release uh, release, uh, release uh, feelings kung bang kunwari medyo nabibigatan ka uh, when you perform the dance it's a way of uh, releasing out so masusol yung depressions and finally it is a thanksgiving to Kabunyan uh, after the bountiful uh, harvest ball Usually, you have to perform a ritual, you have to perform the dance para magpasalamat po sa blessings ng hindi nakikita. Sabi nila, whatever achievements you have in life, it is always associated to the spirit beings. Kung hindi dahil sa kanila, wala yung blessings nila, then hindi ka nakapag-produce ng marami. Pag pinabayaan mo sila, ikaw ay papabayaan. At uh, yung mga tanim mo, kakainin ng mga dara so you have to continually uh, please the spirits of your ancestors or of the gods and goddesses para to maging maganda ang buhay mo. So it's a way of establishing good relations with the spirits for uh, continued prosperity and blessings. So yun, so yun ang tungkol sa 